days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Woman that they want to stone. This is woman. Oh yeah, the one that she wanted to stone. Yeah. Right. Now see, I don't know that that kind of tells me being that the law is the law, right? Yeah. Maybe she didn't. I, who is it? Probably she didn't even do it. She did it. Not what I'm asking in the sense of what, what, <laughs> what, what was the trick in there? What was? Why were they trying to trick him? Because they wanted to catch him in something that they could accuse him of. Accuse him? No, 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 not these people. Not yeah. these people. Because if she's caught in, if she's caught in the very act of adultery, yeah. the law says, and that's what Jesus, even Jesus got it right. Jesus said, I, I, I agree with you, basically. Yeah, he didn't All do I'm just saying is, no. who, who, who over here, who, I just want the person who has not sinned, the first stone. You cast the first stone. I want to bring the person up here who has not stand be the first to throw the stone because every last one of you should have a stone thrown at you. That's exactly right. But you want to go and condemn, and that's what I'm trying to say. I like what Christ said and that we're free from law, sin, and death. I am free from anybody throwing a stone at me. That's right. But remember what Christ told her at the end of that conversation? Yeah. Go sin no more. That's what he said. Go and sin no more. He didn't say she didn't sin. He just do not do no more. Go sin no more. And I think what I'm saying, I think for us as, as believers, take the example of Jesus, is I'm not going to condemn you either. But I'm saying that we have taken a traditional approach, and I ain't I'm, 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 you and the church and people, even sinners. <laughs> have taken a position to condemn people with the law said and death. And Christ is saying is that is, if I didn't do it, can y'all get an amen for me? If he didn't do it, why are we doing it? Amen. You know, because our hearts are the evil. Well, it's, it's because of tradition. Yeah. It's because of how we were taught. Yeah. It was because that's how they did it. Yeah. And also, I think it also come with pride in the fact that, yeah. oh, you you never did. Because you ever know with somebody who traditionally has not done something wrong, end up doing something wrong, that people make a big thing out of it. Yeah, because it's not their nature, that person's nature, and they holding them to a higher standard than they hold themselves. There you go. And that's what he's trying to get us out of. That's why he said walk daily. I like that part of my scripture read. For me, daily, I'm free from the law of sin and death, God. Amen. Uh, so, so you so, know, I got, I got it. I don't, I don't know why the devil don't listen, but I tell him that all the time. <laughs> I'm free. I tell him like, who you talking to? That 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 dude is dead and buried. I don't know why you bringing up history <laughs> about somebody who's dead. Because he don't live here no more. He don't live here no more. He, he does not. I don't live under the law of sin and death. I live under, what is that, grace and mercy, Elder? Grace, yeah, the law of love, grace and mercy. Grace and mercy, Brother Addison. Why I need grace, Brother Addison? Why I need grace? Tell the people in the video, Elder, why I need grace? Because you ain't perfect. <laughs> and neither Amen. am I. Amen. Amen. That's why there's no confidence. Hey, y'all, uh, I'll put the scripture again for you. There's no condemnation because I'm walking in grace. You know what we do? <laughs> we take Christ's yoke. <laughs> we, we take out the grace, y'all. God, look, and therefore a person goes into condemnation, elder, they go into uh, depression, elder, because they, we bring in the law. And, and we don't need to live in the law. We need to live in the spirit. That's what we're supposed to live by. And if you live in the spirit, God will bless you. Look, you know what? I have peace living in the spirit. 
I mean, let's read the script again, Brother Addison. <laughs> Life and peace. Come on, bro. Look. Why, why, why is that? Why is that life and peace? Why is that life? Tell them, tell the world why that's life and peace. Because I am spiritually minded. Uh huh. Spiritually minded <laughs> is life and peace. And peace. And you are free from what? Death. From the law of death and life, right? What is law? Sin and death, right? You are sin and death. Yeah. Birth, birth two, you are free from the law of sin and death. Yes. There's a law of Christ. There's a there's a law here for the, the law of the yeah. spirit of life. In and Christ Jesus. Has made me free from the law of sin and death. People sit there and try to put you under the law. You are not under the law. Daily, I walk, I have a daily walk in faith, Elder. And I'm free from your condemnation. And I ain't throwing any person. But Addison, I'm not throwing anybody. I'm trying to say is that while I'm walking and moving from glory to glory, I'm not afraid or have fear of slipping. Because I'm free from any slip I make. Well, I have no expectations of slipping. That's all right. That's by faith. Hey, I like by that. By faith. By faith. I, 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 I ain't gonna slip. Huh? Look, I am the righteousness of God. Hey, and, and I like the scripture that says, <laughs> scripture says, look y'all, look, the scripture said the righteous fall. Yeah. Sometimes, but keep getting back up. Get back up. Hey, Elbert Addison, here's a good one for you. Paul Peter said, Lord, how many times I must forgive the person? Seven times? Seven. So, so tell to me, y'all. Hey, brother, hey, elder. Sound to me. If I slip up, I got, if I slip up one time that day, I got 489 times to go. <laughs> But you know, only thing of that, and I, I looked at that example. Can you take 489 beats? What's that? So can you get beat 489 times a day? Beat 49, 49 no. times yeah, a day? Yeah, can you get chasing 489 times a day? You know, it, 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 where sin abounds. I don't, you know what, you know what I want to say? God grace much more abounds. <laughs> but those of you love to be chasing. Elder, so elder, so elder, elder, yeah. elder, elder, look, look. I don't mind being chased by the Lord. I just don't care about being chased by you. <laughs> and I don't care about it. And brother, here's another one. I don't care about being chased by myself. Yeah. I, I'd rather be chased by the Lord. Elder, Elder. Well, you know what? This this, this is what's, what's, what, what is astonishing to me. What's that? What's that? This is God. This is how God chases me. <laughs> Come on now, come on. Boy, don't you know that you my righteousness? Come on now, come on. Boy, don't you know you the head, not the tail? Come on now, come on. Boy, why you, why you keep saying, why you claiming sickness and disease? Come Amen, on. man. Why you claiming a cold? Why, 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 why you claiming stuff that ain't got nothing to do with you? Come on now. Why you worried about that person over there when you should be worried about my word? Come on now. That, that's how God chases me. Yeah. It ain't you, stiff neck. There you go. <laughs> that, hey. that, that's, that's not God. Right. Hey, this is how he deals with me, dealing with those, that, that, that issue you said about looking at a naked woman is, you know, it costs you something if you want to be with that woman. It costs you something. Yes, see, I don't even, I don't even get to that point. My point <laughs> is, I, 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 I look and, and as soon as my mind gets twisted, uh -huh. it's like, nope, that could be that could be a, a sister of mine in Christ. Well, what the thing for me is just saying is that a lot of cases, listen, we use this as, as an example. Looking is not the issue, and you said that. You yeah. know, get with it is the issue. Yeah, it's 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 desiring and, and lusting out. 
yeah, the lusting though is, is, is to commit adultery, right? He said yeah. lust, right? To me, he's saying is you you that looks pretty, but if you if you go to the next level, want to get with it, it gonna cost you something. And coveting, and wanting it, you can't afford it. It's I mean, too, you just can't you can't you can't linger on on it's things too like that. It's too expensive. I mean, look. It, it, it's too expensive. Because look, this, this is what's crazy. As soon as you linger, the enemy is already there showing you to turn to turn away. I mean, it, it don't take nothing but a second for me for, for him to show up. <laughs> Serious. I mean, like, it's, it's like he right there. He, he, he like a roaring lion <laughs> waiting to see who he can devour. But look, I'm, I'm I'm not edible to demons. Hey, brother Addison, he's with the sin is with <laughs> He ain't devouring me. I'm unedible. <laughs> <laughs> and look, look, the sin is with you daily. It's oh, in yeah. you. It's in you daily. You know what I mean? Your cardinal flesh, your cardinal. All yeah. of us. Everybody in the video. This, everything here, the Bible told me in this. Everything you see. Dwellers. No, no good. So the point is that whenever, just like you can, you can, you can be thankful for red rose, flower, sun pretty, whatever, God creation of those females that you have, your there's a pretty flower, there's a pretty eye candy. But if you want to eat one of those candies, it costs <laughs> something. And that's where you get to the point of say is. I think I'll just, that's a nice flower. Let me keep on walking there. I done looked at that flower long enough. Let me keep walking. I don't see, look a lot of times what, uh, what helps me out, I, I can just say it. Oh, she beautiful. And then move on. Yeah. You know, I don't let it just dwell in my mind. Well, exactly, because it caught, to me I'm saying is anytime you go into the, the act, because that's what you're talking about, the act of it in your mind. If you don't put the cost, he, at least for me, give me to say, you live out the cost, live out the whole thing. Guess what it does? You remember, you know, when I like that movie called uh, Fatal Attraction? Mm -hmm. Remember that Fatal Attraction? Oh, that, yeah. that dude was messed up by that, that one. <laughs> and, and look, he had, the, he had the typical mindset of a man. You knew, you remember, if you, I know you can't remember the whole movie. I do. I got the movie. I don't know where's that now. I think the water took it. <laughs> and and, and I, I, I will play it from time to time. Right? And and what I remember said is, he said, you knew before we got into this situation that I was married. We, I, I assume we had an agreement that this was going to be just a thing. Yeah. And, and I go back to where I go come from and you go back where you came from. But the he long sin and death. He was wrong, yeah. <laughs> she was wrong too. But the law of sin and death, yeah, brother, I said, it costs you something. You remember, you remember when you, the, the wife you have, it costs you something. But you wanted to pay and you could pay that one. Yeah. Put two in there. Can you pay? You can't handle two wives. At least I can't. Nope, don't want to even try. And I don't know how the Mormons do it. <laughs> it it's, it's just, it costs you something. And then on top of that, if you ever look at these, when we talk about pretty, you ever notice that the pretty is always somebody young? Right? Somebody's in their 20s, right? Uh, you can't handle it. <laughs> don't want to. You, you, you can, elder, you can't handle it. That's very true. You, know, you don't have it what you had when you were 20. Couldn't handle it then. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a debatable. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm telling the truth. Okay. I had no business. I, I mean, it, when I say handle it, I mean, like like a like a man, mature man in a, in a relationship. Right. I was an idiot. 
Exactly. That's what I mean. Right. Now, I, what I'm talking about the part about the, the, the act of adultery, right, or fornication, yeah. you don't, you can't handle it. I, I'm sorry. <coughs> I know some of y'all, and I don't know, I'm pretty sure none of y'all think that. <coughs> some of us can't, it's not the way we used to be. Well, and it I doesn't mean, exactly, it doesn't empower you in Christ. It doesn't do anything to help your spiritual walk. It doesn't do anything to help your relationship with the Lord. But, and right, but it doesn't do anything to help you in the physical flesh either. <laughs> well, I think for the moment, you know, you might have some physical sensation that's nice, but it's, it's so fleeting and it's not worth what you do, you trade off. You know, was, uh, when we look at what heck happened, uh, what was gained for us in Calgary, these signs and problems that believe my name is cast out though. Yeah. We were given we were given dominion over the spirit realm. Right. Demons are legitimate. They had to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Right. We give power over sickness. Right. They been getting daily things in our home. Jesus right. himself said that these things is greater shall you these signs are greater shall you do because I go to your father. So there was an empowerment that occurred at, at Calvary that many of us, most of us, have not really seen the manifestation of. Well, you know the thing about yeah, I think because we spend most of our time traveling, getting out there flesh. Is it is it possible, y'all? Is it possible that signs are following you just don't see them? I know they're following me. I know I I I, I know. Yeah. Because, right. I don't I don't I don't speak over people without believing God's word. I, I, I just don't. And Matter of fact, a lot of times I ask you, I call, I, you know, I call it expectation of a good report. You, you know? Where there's I, good teaching, then the expectation is also elevated. And I think that's what, uh, you know, a lot of times when, and, and the league railed against me quite a bit with somebody, you know, I'm, I'm not perfect. I never would be perfect so far and so on. And uh, that's, is that a debatable? I guess it might be. At some point, or maybe periodically, uh, you know, maybe inst not instantaneously, but you know, every now and then we get, we reach a state of perfection where God is literally speaking to us in such a way that we can really hear what He's saying and then do what He, he tells us to do. But the ultimate goal, I think, by allowing the earth now is that is to have such a fellowship with Him that when He communicates to us and we execute His will. When Paul said, "What would you have me to do, Lord? What would you have me to do?" I think that probably was a most perfect prayer I heard prayed in the scripture. Because God has worked toward the salvation of our souls. The, the work was there, it's done for us. Now he's using us to work toward the salvation of another soul. Yes. I don't I don't know that process. I don't know what another person specifically needs in order to be have their heart changed toward the Lord. But he does. Yeah. So if I listen to him, he'll tell me what I need to say, when I need to say it, how I need yeah. to say it. In order Amen. to make that presence in, in one soul. And that's what I would, I think, on a, on, a, on a everyday sense of real sense, that's what we do for a living. We've been transformed from the, the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light, translated, I mean. We have been born again. We have uh, secured our souls of been secured in Christ. Man, we are immortal, even as we sit in these chairs in these various places. We are immortal. Paul said that we're already seated in heavenly places. But I, I, the reality of it is that at the time you exhale Christ, you become you are immortal. And he says, if any man believes in me, though he be dead, yet shall he live in the end of the lives he will never die. So I think it's the it's the it's the effectiveness, our effectiveness in the kingdom at, at actually putting the agenda of the Lord. That's what we're striving toward right now. Am I gonna go to hell? No. Nope. It ain't possible for me to go here because Lord ain't gonna let me go and I dog on shit to snap myself out of the hand and say, No, I want that. Oh okay. no. Yeah. So, so I feel pretty confident that, that my end result is going to be toward, uh, it's going to be in his presence. What I desire, as a man desires, is to do as much on his behalf as I possibly can. Is that selfish? To some extent, I must admit it is, because it talks about you receiving a greater reward in the resurrection. So the work that we're doing right now is toward the saving of another soul. What are we going to get credit for? That. Everything else that we do is called a vain, it's a vain or a dead work. Yeah. And how are we going to accomplish that? We got to hear. We got to hear what he's saying. The thing I want to throw in there because the title of it that live daily by faith is signs are following you, as Brother Addison said, by faith. Yeah. It's, 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 it's leave it and move on because it's happening in the, you know, like it happens in the spiritual realm first. Yeah. Well, you, if you know if what I speak that? it, it, it it's it's already done. Uh, it's not manifested. It's not, it's not, it's not. If 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 it's not my life, 
then I have no control over the manifestation. When the manifestation. But it, the manifestation is in process if I'm praying over a person. You are now, right. whether it manifests in their life is according to their faith. Their so that's faith. why it is imperative on, that brother. we give them uh -huh. some word that pertains to the situation or circumstance Come on because faith cometh by Come on here. hearing Come on. and hearing by the word of God. So so without that, they cannot apply faith that they don't have no word. And then, then so it, it's a down line kind of thing because in order to know what word to, to, to give them, we got to have faith. We got to walk in faith. And we got to hear the word of God. We have to renew our minds. Yeah, we have to hear what he's saying. And, 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 and I our renewing our minds, it is imperative that we transfer that renewing to another soul so yeah, that they, they can know. receive the the, the 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 glory that that is revealed in the spirit realm. So for me to 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 pray for somebody, come on now. You know, a lot of times you hear these people they say, Well, well, pray for me, I'm sick. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I a lot of folks won't pray right then. I, I pray right then and there. Okay. Right. And I let them know. I says, well, the word says that healing is of the children's bread. And if you're a child of God, healing is for you. Yes, sir. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Here is the word of God. Here's the word of God. By Jesus stripes. Come on now. You were healed, uh -huh. which means you are healed. Uh huh. So, by the authority given me. Uh huh. Come on now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be thou healed. You are healed. So now yes. they got word yes, to sir. apply faith yes, for sir. the situation or circumstance. Yes, sir. And now it's on them. I have no control over anything after I do God's will. In other words, so what I would submit to you is that in the spirit, that took place. Oh, it's done. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So he, Christ, when he was in his own village or own town, yes. he marveled of their unbelief. Unbelief. So the so signs and you by faith, signs and wonders are following you. Yeah. By faith. Move Through on. Faith. Through faith. Come on, bro. Because see, look, if I see it, it's no more faith. No, it is not. And they, didn't, they, 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 didn't need, they didn't need to see the, the fig tree drive. Right? They, they, they need to see. Uh, Jesus uh, didn't need to see it. They Jesus didn't, didn't even look for it. It, it was dried up when he spoke it. They, they, didn't, need, they didn't need to see um, uh, Lazarus come from the grave. So there are manifestations, and I think the manifestations are for a purpose. And Jesus himself said, I know you always hear me. Uh -huh. But think of those that are standing around. Yeah. So the sons of God are going to be manifested to the world by those signs. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. But, so, but, but, so there's a lot of things that we can do, but if it doesn't have any result that affects the, 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 the material realm, what it said, faith without works is dead. Works is an observable occurrence. Faith is something that you receive internally, spiritually, intellectually, but it had to have a physical manifestation. Hey, bro, hey bro, brother, uh, Elder Johnson. Yes, sir. It is somewhere in the scriptures, in quite a few places in the scriptures, where in that self same hour, the person was healed. Oh, there was, Jesus said, stretch forth your hand. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh huh. But there's also some days where they, they, they didn't. The healing didn't take place right in front of him. No, it didn't. But it Peter didn't. said, rise up and walk. Right. Remember that one about the, the 10 uh, lepers? Yeah. He said, go yeah. show yourself to the priest. Yeah. As they were going. Yeah. They, one of them even noticed, I'm healed. He turned back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, look, look at me. I'm here. 